well, welcome back to the channel, and uh, we're up here at uh, up here at Tap A Gate. It's about 12:30, and uh, I don't know if I'm like I said. I don't know if I'm coming up here tonight or not. But I wanted to walk around a little bit and show you the uh, how it's set up in, in the daytime. And if I come back tonight, I'll, I'll make a separate video over the night. There's a lot of people up here walking around, and there's a lot of traffic. Uh, it's a nice day. The wind's kind of blowing, and everybody's kind of kind of at ease and uh, traffic's hot and uh, I'll turn the camera around so you can see it's backed up in front of the gate I really want to thank everybody that's come in and into the channel and uh, watch the video subscribed and, and we are very very close to uh, two million views which is is really amazing to me uh, you know, I guess the next milestone is uh, is 15,000 subscribers. Whether that'll happen or not, I don't know. But I'm going to keep trying. I enjoy doing this. I enjoy showing you Chiang Mai, and I enjoy show telling you stories. And I've got a real funny one for you today. It's, it's really not funny, but it is in a sense. Uh, you know, Thailand's known for scams. And, you know, most people are, are pretty pretty savvy about keeping away from them and but sometimes you let your let your uh, let your guard down and and you uh, you can you can take the big one and that's what happened with this guy and it's uh, he's kind of a victim of his own uh, his own demise and his own stupidity but uh, I'll tell the story, and we're going to go up here and walk through the gate, and I'll show you the lanterns and some of the other stuff that's up here. Uh, they were making a movie up here earlier, and I did get some video of that. And I'll just admit it, this is my second time around on this video. I walked the whole video, talked the whole story, and uh, got back to the motorcycle and realized that I hadn't turned my transmitter on. So I was basically talking to myself, but yeah, it's good practice and it's a good walk. So I'll walk it again and I'll tell you the story again. Uh, story's about a guy by the name of Samchai. Well, that's what I'll call him anyway. Uh, that's not his real, I don't think that's his, I know that's not his real name. Samchai is just a common name that, that uh, people call Thai men. And uh, he's about 59, 60 years old. He's uh Got a decent job, and, and uh, anyway, just some child decides he wants uh, he wants to get on social so social media and uh, and try to meet a woman. So I'm not sure exactly what a app he used, whether he used Tinder or you know one of the other dating apps that they that they have. But anyway, he's floating around there on on the app, and he he meets up with this woman and. Uh, starts chatting with her and she's uh she's in her her mid to late 30s and very very nice and you know seemed very attractive and she uh she was talking to him asking him questions about where he worked and you know what kind of car he had if he had a house or you know if he was married and all this stuff and he's you know he's pretty much just eating it up because he's wanting some company and uh she seems really, really interested in him. And they go on talking. They finally switch over to, uh, to Line, and they start talking on Line, the Line app, get off the dating site. And they're going on and, you know, just, I guess, your normal conversations that you have when you're trying to, trying to hook up with somebody. And uh, she, she tells him she's at her room, and. She's got food there. Does he want to come over and eat food with her? And Samchai, you know, he he's all excited now. And uh, he starts thinking about it. Yeah, that you know, that sounds real good. I'll, uh, I'll jump in my car and come over. And uh, so he drives over. Doesn't say how far away it was. Everybody getting their picture taken. Doesn't say how far away from, from where he was that she was. But anyway, he gets over there and goes to her room, knocks on the door, and uh, she answers the door, and there's there's two other ladies in there. And he's thinking, hmm, you know, this is, 
I thought we were, you know, kind of, I was going to be alone with her. But, you know, that's okay. There's food there. There's whiskey there. And, uh, you know, maybe the other ones will leave and some child will get lucky. So he goes on in and they're eating and carrying on drinking and talking and just having a good old time. And some child's kind of snuggling up to her as best as he can. And uh, next thing you know, there's a knock on the door. She gets up and opens up the door. Now, Samchai doesn't realize it. He, he realizes it after he, he leaves. This is just a one room kind of tie room and there's no bed in there. But he didn't, you know, he's, his, his mind's, he's not thinking with his, uh, with his right mind. So he, uh, he just goes on in and sits down. Hello, you're on YouTube. How are you? How are you? Good. This is Rosie. She owns Rose's Roadhouse. Hello. Say hello. You're going to be on YouTube tonight. I come live on Six Hawks. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I want to represent my hometown. Yeah. I born from Chiang Mai. So. Good. Okay. I'll see you later. I'm going to keep making my video. Bye. Bye bye. Keep it up. I love your video. Thank you. But, uh, <laughs> Samchai, uh, you know, he, he should have picked up on it, but he didn't until after he, he get sobered up a little bit and started thinking about things, and he realized there, there wasn't a bed in there. Anyway, the knock at the door, the guy comes in and uh, sits down, and he's drinking with him and playing cards, and he's got quite a bit of gold on him as well, wearing fancy rings and omelets around his neck and all that good stuff. and. He, uh, after a while, he whips out a deck of cards. And all the ladies, you know, they, they want to play cards, so they all start playing cards with them. And they're playing something called Nine Kings. And I, I've never heard of it before. Lech tried to explain it to me. But as far as she could explain that, that whoever got the nine sim, sa, of the same cards of the highest number won, one would win the hand. So this lady, she's playing two hands. She's, uh, she's going at it. And uh, she's winning a little bit, you know? She's, she's not doing too bad. And Samchai's, you know, sitting next to her. He's kind of snuggling up to her and, uh, you know, being, trying to be a little bit lovey-dovey with her, you know? And anyway, after about 30 minutes, they run out of whiskey. So, uh, she, you know, she's got her money there on the, on the, on the floor. And she tells some child, you know, play, I'm going to run, go get some whiskey, play my two, play my cards for me. So, you know, some child, he's, you know, that's his girlfriend. He's going to, he's going to play her cards for her. All right. So he's, he starts playing and immediately starts winning like crazy. You know, just, just about every hand he's winning. And this goes on for about five or 10 minutes. Uh, she, uh, I'll wait till this ambulance gets by. She finally comes back in and she sees all this money and, you know, some tries winning all her hands for her. And, uh, so she keeps playing and, and she's, she says, you're lucky, some try. You know, she's rubbing her cards on him and, and uh, kissing on him and, just, just going crazy because Samchai's got so much luck he's won all this money for. Her. Well, then she says, Samchai, you're so lucky you need to play. You know, you need to, you need to get in this game and, and, and uh, win for yourself, you know, not just win for me. So by this time, Samchai had had quite a bit of whiskey. Okay, we're back. Had a battery trouble again, but anyway, some child, he's uh, he's been drink, hello, drinking that whiskey and feeling good, and he's got his what he thinks is his sweetie next to him, warming up to him. So yeah, he's lucky. He's he's doing real well. So, but he tells her he says I don't have any money. I didn't you know I didn't bring that much money with me. I just got a little bit of money, and. Uh, 
she tells him, well, that's okay. She goes, I got a friend I can call. And uh, he'll come down, he'll loan you money on the car. And then after you win all your money, win all the money here, you just give him the money back and a little bit of interest and, uh, and you'll be fine. So, you know, Samchai thinks, thinks for a little bit and, you know, she kind of snuggles with him a little bit more and smiles at him a few times. And, uh, okay, okay. So she gets on the phone and calls somebody. And sure enough, about uh, a ten, min 10 minutes later, there's another knock on the door. And guy comes in and him and Samchai go out to the car. And uh, he takes Samchai's keys and, and gives him uh, 200,000 baht. So Samchai's in on the game. So he gets down, he's, he's, he's betting on the, on the cards and he starts winning, he's doing real good. He's, he's winning just like he won for her. He's winning all this money, he sees all this money laying in front of him. And uh, they play for about, probably about 30 minutes and, and he's, just, he's just doing great. You know, he's got this great big stack of money in front of him and, the, and you know, the dealer, the, the guy with all the gold, he's the dealer, you know, he's, he's looking kind of nervous and kind of sweaty. And, uh, apparently what they do in this game is they bet, bet on the cards. They, they try to get as close to, uh, to nine of the highest set they can get. And uh, Samchai had, he was doing great. He had seven queens. So he bet a little bit more money and the next thing you know, the, he gets the card and he's got eight queens. And she's telling him, wow, you know, you've got a great hand, excellent hand, you're, you're going to win, you're going to win. Well, lo and behold, if he doesn't draw nine queens, and it's his, his turn to throw out the bet. And she's telling him, bet it all, bet it all, bet all your money. And, uh, you know, he's looking at the money, he's looking at her, he's looking at his cards. And uh, looking at the whiskey bottle, empty whiskey bottle in front of him. And he pushes all his money out on the table. He's going to win, you know. You know, the highest is going to be nine kings, and he's got he's got nine, you know, nine queens. He's got to win. Dealer takes his card, lays down nine kings on the table, scoops up the money, puts it in a bag, and hits the door. Just he he just they all stop playing. You know, the game's over. He takes off. And uh, the, the two, two other girls take off, and, and the, the Samchai's girlfriend says, "Oh, oh, oh you know, you, you, we'll we'll uh, we'll figure out a way to, to get your car back." And, and all this. So Samchai, by this time, he's he he came to get something, and he left without anything. And uh, I don't even know if he had money to, to to call a taxi to take him back to his. Uh, to his house. Well, anyway, he, she had told him to, uh, to get in touch with her the next day. And uh, so he, he gets her online and she assures him that, you know, he'll get his car back. And, uh, you know, he's just, he just, he was lucky, but he just, he got unlucky on that last hand and, and they'll, get, they'll get his money back and, and, and get his car back for him. And uh, she tells him to uh, dial her up the next day. So, some child, you know, he's still got hopes of, of getting his, uh, you know, getting his car back. And uh, he, uh, he calls her on the, the, the line app the next day and she's ghosted him. Uh, she, uh, she's deleted her, her line account and uh, doesn't answer any of his, his, his messages and she can't find, he can't find her on the dating app anymore. So he goes to, uh, there's some agency here that, uh, that helps people when they get into this, this type of a jam. It's not the police, it's something like a, like a third party and, and I, don't, I don't know the name of it, Leck was telling me about it. But anyway, he, he goes to them and he tells them and uh, the guy, uh, I pretty much tells him that uh, 
he's probably been scammed. Well, he tries to call her and he can't, he can't get through to her either. So they decide that they're gonna go to the room. You know, surely she's at the room or, or somewhere close by and they'll find out what's going on. Get this poor guy's car back and uh, everybody's getting their picture taken. <laughs> So um, they jump in this guy's car because, you know, so I'm trying, he don't have no car no more. He's, he's had to take a taxi to, to get over there. And my wife said there was actually a queue the other day to get your picture taken underneath that sign. It's funny. But uh, anyway, they jump in this guy's car and they go over there and uh, go up to the... Uh, to the room where Samchai was, was playing cards and, and now things are starting to click in his head why there wasn't any furniture in there. They, uh, they knock on the door and the, nobody answers the door but the door is kind of ajar so they kind of open it up and there's nothing in there. Absolutely nothing. Not even a glass. Not even remnants of their party. So uh, they, uh, they go down downstairs to where the uh, the clerk is, and they asked the clerk, they said, well, somebody just came in and rented it for one night, and, you know, they left early the next morning. And uh, they had, you know, they, most of those places don't take any identification or anything like that, especially if you're, if you're dealing in cold cash. So, you know, their next, their next step is to go to the police, which, you know, the, the police will work on it. Uh, I was reading an article uh, yesterday on the internet when I was reading this story, or looking for this story. Leck actually told me the story because it's, it's not hit the uh, English media yet. But I was trying to find it and I found another story that in Thailand since January 1st, there has been 861 million baht scammed from people. And that's just what's been reported. That, uh, you know, that, that surely does not include the, the entire figure because I'm sure it's more than that. And a lot of people are just too embarrassed to tell. But uh, Samchai, his, his only problem was he, he wasn't thinking with the right head. He, was, he, uh, he had a one-track mind and one thing on his mind. And then when he started getting lucky, he thought he was going to get really lucky. And uh, ended up he was the most unluckiest person in that room. So, you know, it, it happens. There, you know, there's other versions of this scam where people entice you to uh, to play cards, and then they, they snooker you out of all your money. This is the first time I've heard that it's ever happened through a, through a dating site. Uh, the media called it the uh, hybrid romance scam. <laughs> The new hybrid romance scam, because I guess they haven't had, had it happen very many times. This is really pretty. Now, I don't know if I'm going to come up here tonight or not. I'm, I'm debating it. If I do, I have to bring my other camera. And I'm also going to make it a separate video. I'm not going to include it in this video. But uh, this would look really pretty at night, but it's going to be packed. I guarantee it. Traffic is going to be a mess. Uh, so, uh, so I don't know. Uh -huh. We'll have to wait and see what happens tonight. Hello. Hello. See the traffic. This is nothing compared to what it's going to be like tonight. It was relatively easy for me to. I'm on the motorcycle. It's relatively easy for me to find a parking space, but tonight it'll be a little bit more difficult. <laughs> When I was, like I said, when I was out here earlier, they were filming a movie out here, and I'm going to include those clips. I'll just go over when I'm when I'm walking through, talking some bullshit. I'll put it over the top of it. Oh. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and like I said, I appreciate everybody that comes in and watches them and leaves comments and. Uh, clicks like and all that good stuff. It really does help the video get out to more people and uh, lets other people see the channel. I enjoy, I enjoy walking, I enjoy telling stories and uh, 
you know, I, I, it just gives me something really good to do that, uh, that I enjoy doing. But anyway, I'm gonna head to the house. I'll probably stop and get something to eat. And uh, then I'll try to get this video up for y'all. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.